Um, sure. You're talking to me. I'm Scott Kovacs. I have uh, been in the choir since 2014, Trinity Sunday, 2014, and I'm on the cantor side and I sing bass. Well, I mean, the first most obvious highlight was the pilgrimage to England. Those two weeks together were um, a real mountaintop experience. Uh, my particular favorite moment outside of the, the worship that we uh, engaged in together in, in those two remarkable places was what I call the upper room moment. And it was when we gathered uh, to dine together in a 17th century wool mill upstairs. And dinner was late and we had no other choice but to stand there and talk with each other and to reflect. And then the meal came at one long table. And it was a holy moment for all of us to be sure. Um, there are other moments here uh, that are certainly noteworthy. I mean, Oana Fons every year for us is uh, one of those great experiences that's Easter Sunday when we've all just reached the absolute end of our resources and we cross the finish line on Holy Week together at 10 o'clock at night. Um, but it's really, it's the idea that we, every week, we repeat this threshold moment together and our, um, we conform to each other for 30 minutes every Sunday. Every single one of those is special, even though we've done hundreds of them. Yeah. I don't ever want to hear the word unprecedented again um, or, or out of an abundance of, I, I mean, there's so many things about, about that 20 months that meant near constant reinvention and for a community that's been extant for almost 65 years now, there were moments where I realized we would, we would make it. And there are moments where I wasn't sure how we were gonna keep it all together. But I think the moment that I realized that this community would do whatever it takes to remain a community of prayer, a, a beloved community of prayer, was the Sunday after Thanksgiving when Jason and I were the only two human beings in the church chanting the office of Compline privately to maintain the continuity of the office. The chain is comp of, of reciting Compline at St. Mark's Cathedral is unbroken because of the commitment of this group of people to ensuring that the office would be chanted continuously. And that is a Again, a holy thing, a remarkable thing. In uh, January 2019, I was called uh, as the lay chaplain for life to the Compline Choir, um, an appointment that um, deeply uh, changed me um, because it, it represents um, uh, the affirmation of my community for the role that I had been emerging into for many years with, with, um, with all of us. And uh, the work that led to that, I think, was introducing the Benedictine rule and the principles of transformation and stability and um, listening, let's call it listening. Um, you know, I, I mentioned earlier that, you know, for that half hour, Every Sunday we conform to each other in prayer. And even outside of that half hour, we do a lot of listening to each other, whether it's in rehearsal, whether it's one-on-one. -on -one. And what I've learned uh, is that the 24, 25 unique individuals are all very wise people and everyone has something to teach me about myself and about God and about beloved community. And introducing the framework of, of listening and transformation and, uh, and stability to our conversations has given us uh, a grounding in that monastic tradition. And it continues now, and we continue to reflect on it. We continue to look back on those um, virtues, on those, those rules as our grounding, as beloved community, as a beloved community of prayer. And I'm just so grateful that in our diversity, as a very diverse group of people spiritually, I mean really diverse group, that we have a common vocabulary, that 
um, extends beyond our praxis, beyond that 30 minutes of prayer. And it's been an incredible journey so far, and I'm looking forward to whatever comes next and grateful to the community for calling me as their, as their lay chaplain. It's, it's something that has meant a lot to me, not only as we work through our formation as a community, but during COVID tide, um, to know that we had accountability and responsibility to each other. And um, it was partly my job to ensure that we were checking in on each other and making sure that our beloved community was being held by each other. I think that the women's Compline is the most natural, important, and a little, a little late in coming addition to the organic and, and normal evolution of the institution of the Compline Choir at St. Mark's Cathedral. This is a building, this is a place, this is a congregation, this is a, an intersection that believes in social justice, that believes in justice for all people, that believes in the representation of everyone, and that we had the right opportunity at the right time, still maybe a little late, to introduce the idea of women singing the office here. Um, and I'm glad it stuck. I hope that we continue to foster that group. I hope that we wel continue to welcome them as our sibling group, not as the replacement choir, not as the sabbatical choir of the St. Mark's Compline Choir, but as our sibling group and a fully vested part of our, commu of our, of our community.